Yeah. Well, for everyone, my name's Ollie. Thank you so much for tuning in. New season 10 Tet server is already here. And before you guys skip, let me tell you guys no, I'm not talking about the Chinese season 10 Tet server. I'm talking about the new Garena version Tet server. In this video, we're gonna take a look at our season 10 Tet server contents and season 10 leaks, which are in the game files of our season 10 beta. Alright, so ladies and gents, first thing first, and this is what we get to see in our season 10 battle royale. So this is hover ship from Advanced Warfare and it was found in our Season 10 Tet server game files. So currently they are completely useless, you guys can't drive it, they don't do anything, they're just there on our BR map placed as objects. So now looking at some predictions, this just could be a skin for dropship or this could also be related to our new BR map. Maybe it's that because of some live event that will might happen in the future but right now we don't have any confirmation. Now I don't know what that is but it seems like developers are planning something big for a Codem's BR and it makes me happy because they're not ignoring Codem's BR even though Wars and Mobile is coming. Moving on ladies and gents, we have two new guns that are coming in the future of Card Mobile. First of all we got the Lapa SMG and this SMG is from Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now Lapa does have slower fire rate compared to the other SMGs but when it comes to the recoil and the weapon control then the weapon control of this SMG is actually really really good and it's gonna be really easy to shoot at medium ranges. Now one thing that I want to mention is that I'm not gonna go into the details of these two guns. I'm gonna make a separate video for these weapons where I'll tell you guys about the stats and how they're gonna behave in COD Mobile. Moving on we will be having a new assault rifle called EM2 and this gun is also from Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now once again this AR does have slow fire rate just like the SMG but it does come with insane accuracy where if you guys are targeting a enemy on longer range it's gonna be much easier for you. In Cold War but on average you guys do get kills with 3 to 4 shots on the body without any headshot. Now let's talk about the other things that are in our season 10 test server. First of all there's a new vehicle called the Hover Motor and this vehicle can be driven on both water and on ground. If you guys want to know everything about this vehicle then I've already made a video. You guys can click on the pop up to watch that video. Next up there was a new red perk added in our season 10 test server which is called the Pinpoint. Now this perk will might break the game because it sounds very OP and I used it personally in the game and I think it is overpowered. So basically, if you are getting any damage from your enemy, that enemy will be highlighted, so you guys will be able to spot the enemy easily. And that's not only it, it will also enhance your aim assist. So this is like soft hacks in Cart Mobile. Moving ahead, a new operator skill was added called the Ballista EM3. Now this operator skill is very confusing. It kind of works like Tempest, but instead of electricity, it shoots laser. My only problem with this operator skill is that you guys have to hold the fire button to build up the charge and then you guys have to shoot very accurately on the enemy. A new BR class was added in the stealth category and its name is Quick Strike. So what it does is it blocks bullets from the front and then it slash to damage enemies. And its passive ability reduces movement noises so it's basically like dead silence in BR. There was a new multiplayer map added called the Crossroads and this map is from Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. It's good to see a lot of Cold War content in a record mobile. First of all this map is a medium sized map and I overall like the look of this map as well because the trees are actually from like war zone and then it kind of gives you Verdansk vibes and then the overall snow is giving you world war kind of vibes so it's a really good map to play on and also there are two versions that were added in a season 10 test server one is for 5v5 gunfight and the other one is for 10v10 20v20 gunfights a new battle royale mode was also added called the escorts now i tried playing this mode only once and i was so confused like what was going on there's also no description but i'm gonna show you guys the whole gameplay of this battle royale mode as well as well the new multiplayer map gameplay on my second channel so make sure you guys subscribe to this channel as well as my second channel the link is in the description so yeah guys without being said this is all we have in our season 10 test server right now and all we know about the future update of COD mobile so i'll catch you guys in my next video remember peace love and unity my name is ali and i'm signing out